In this video, we present Blended Library, our vision of the library of the future. The Blended Library supports research and knowledge work in physical libraries with help of information technology and modern visualizations. A scenario exemplifies the use of the Blended Library by telling a story of four students, Amelie, Lena, Johannes, and Sebastian, working within the context of a history class. Johannes joins the group by placing a student ID on the interactive table. Now registered, he can access the group's workspace on his tablet and is typing in the topic of their presentation about Caesar and the Rubicon. They met in the living lab to work cooperatively on their presentation for the history class and start by initiating a literature search using facet search on the interactive table. All have vague knowledge about Caesar and only know that the Rubicon is a river but do not know what happened to Caesar at the Rubicon. In contrast to a literature search at a desktop computer, the visual pipe and filter concept of facet search helps keep them aware of the search history and the interactive table supports their discussion of relevant search keywords. At any time, they can search individually and merge their results with the group at a later stage. The results of their literature search are displayed on a large interactive wall. Sebastian and Lena are moving over to the wall to inspect the result and the hypergrid in more detail. At first, the results are shown in a list. By touching the book item in the list, Sebastian gets detailed information about the loan status of a book. Lena gets the exact same information on a tablet and leaves the living lab to get that book. In the meantime, Sebastian browses through a book collection with the blended shelf. Its virtual 3D and reality-based interface allows him to explore online book repositories as known from their physical counterparts, but with the benefits of the digital world. Here he makes a serendipitous discovery and finds a book that was not in the earlier hypergrid search result. He immediately sends this book signature to Lena, who receives his message and gets that book too. Having found both books, Lena returns to the living lab, sits at the digital desk, and starts reading the book. She hopes to find information in the book that is relevant for her group's presentation and starts creating a mind map. Once she finds something in the book, she simply puts it on the digital desk, which automatically starts the integrative workplace. In the book, she selects the region of interest and uses the drag and drop function to extract the now digitized content onto a mind map. The desk provides immediate feedback on her actions by digitally highlighting the selected text in the book. Without the digital desk, she would need to transcribe text or scan book pages manually. She repeats this process each time she finds interesting and noteworthy information in the book. While Lena was creating the mind map, the others started to search for Caesar and the Rubicon in the World Wide Web. Before they started their individual searches, they collect and create clusters of keywords with Twister Search, which is now running on the interactive table. These clusters usually group semantically coherent keywords where a cluster defines one search topic. A token acts as a tablet proxy which distributes the keywords of a cluster to that tablet. Then they search individually on their tablets using the keywords. When they find interesting and relevant information, they send it to the table to share it with the others. Lena, Amelie, Sebastian, and Johannes divide topics among each other by placing physical tokens on different clusters. They also create new clusters as demands change during web search processes. Finished with the web search and by zooming out, they take these results, the literature search, and the mind map results Lena created earlier and summarize it 
in their presentation. Finally, arrived at a seminar room, they present their work on Caesar and the Rubicon to the history class. The display is controlled remotely by Sebastian while Johannes is explaining its content in detail. This was just one of many examples of how applications created within the project Blended Library can be used for knowledge work in physical libraries. Thank you.